The National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj established the National Rural Building Center at the Rural Technology Park in its premises to promote sustainable housing solutions along with various appropriate technologies to transform rural India. Rural Technology Park of uh, National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayat Raj at Hyderabad has evolved large number of appropriate house building or construction technologies over the years. The basic objective of this park is to encourage locally relevant appropriate technologies that are required for providing housing for all. In order to achieve this goal, NIRD and PR imparts training research and outreach programs to various functionaries involved in the rural development sector. To promote sustainable housing technologies, various housing typologies blending both the traditional and modern construction techniques have been showcased at the National Rural Building Centre. These typology houses are constructed to enable the rural communities to construct their houses at an affordable cost, which are also environmentally sound. As conventional building techniques use energy-intensive processes and materials, it is time to adopt sustainable housing technologies, which can also help in creating local employment and entrepreneurship. These sustainable housing techniques can help in addressing depletion of fertile soil used for making bricks, air pollution and negative health impacts on the people working in brick kilns and other social issues arising from migration to cities. The normal bricks which are used for constructing houses require burning and consume one-third of the energy of the total construction of the building. The brick industry is known for creating pollution with major pollutants like smoke, dust, etc. To avoid these problems, the alternative is compressed stabilized earth blocks, also known as compressed mud blocks. These blocks do not require any burning and the strength is achieved by curing with water for 21 days. The strength of the blocks is also more than 40 kilograms per square centimeter, whereas it is around 25 to 35 kilograms per square centimeter for the normal bricks. The blocks can be made using normal soil along with 7 to 10 percent of cement in a manual or mechanized compression press. Buildings up to two floors can be built without any support of RCC columns. The buildings constructed using these blocks provide good thermal insulation and an ethnic look as it does not require plastering. We have to pro protect the climate and for protecting the climate we have to move for locally available construction materials and construction technologies. Considering these factors, the National Rural Building Centre at RTP is extending technical support to various organisations, communities and government bodies to adopt these technologies. Many training programmes have been organised to impart the knowledge to rural communities, masons and engineers in the past. This has been successfully adopted by a number of communities as an entrepreneurial activity to promote construction of sustainable buildings in rural India. To showcase the importance of the sustainable housing technologies, recently the Director General's bungalow is also being constructed for the purpose of demonstration. 
Kapatrala is a village in Karnool district of Andhra Pradesh which was affected seriously due to factionism in the village. The then SP Mr A Ravi Krishna IPS of Karnool district adopted this village and transformed it into a model village with his tireless efforts. Now the people of this village have developed a positive way of life. So far training programs on CSC blocks making and home based products manufacturing have been organized. In this present uh, brick, ma brick manufacturing unit uh, compressed bricks are being uh, manufactured and we are planning to promote uh, uh, this particular bricks in entire uh, district. Already we are speaking to some other people also. We are tying up, tying up with uh, banks and an NIRD also. We want to uh, bring new technologies so that uh, better utility will be there. And uh, lot of uh, eco-friendly this because these bricks are eco-friendly and uh, it gives more strength also. So we are requesting uh, uh, villagers and uh, subsequent there is uh, adjacent villages also to use particular thing, particular bricks. A group of local youth formed the Vivekananda Youth Association and started the production of CSE blocks which have been sold in the area. The local bank has agreed to provide the necessary financial support for furthering this activity. Today we came here to see a compressed mud uh, brick making unit here at Kapatala. We will make it as a viable income generating unit. From Andhra Pragati Ground Bank side, we are prepared to finance such units. Uh, the unit was just started by a youth organization which was trained by the NIRD Hyderabad. Similarly, women of Koduru village located near Vishakhapatnam have undergone CSC block making training and have successfully started the production unit to promote sustainable building technology in the area. A local Ayurvedic doctor from the village who identified the usefulness of the CSE block in promoting sustainable housing techniques encouraged the women members of the community to get trained and produce CSE blocks which is also used to build his Ayurvedic hospital of around 8,000 square feet. We need lesser amount of uh, concrete and cement to construct uh, this uh, building and uh, anyway we are not putting pillars, we are, not, we are saving iron, we are saving concrete and also they have taught us how to make this uh, filler roof filler roof where we are filling the roof with um, uh, lightweight material, uh, clay material so, so that it will be heat resistant, thermal resistant and also it saves iron, it saves uh, concrete and it looks beautiful also Currently, two women entrepreneurs have come together and manage a production unit with automatic hydraulic CSC block making machines. It is also helping them to get financial support from the local bank. I think uh, government needs to support them continuously by giving some small small contracts like you know Anganwadi uh, schools or small uh, schools or small small buildings, panchayat buildings where they can utilize these bricks. The Yavatmal district administration of Maharashtra state has sought the help to promote the construction of Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana houses for the rural poor. NIRD and PR is also conducting research to develop further products like roof tiles, paver blocks and floor tiles using the compressed earth technique. Look for alternatives instead of using ceramic uh, tiles which again are very energy intensive. So going for locally available, nature friendly materials and adopting appropriate technologies to use them is going to be the solution for providing housing for all in the country. The use of sustainable building techniques can help in promoting livelihoods, better living conditions and protect the environment from further degradation. Therefore, it is important that the public and private bodies involved in the housing sector make serious efforts to adopt this very important aspect in construction projects.